Hello and welcome back to Movie Fails. In this video, I'm going to show you 15 mistakes in Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. But before we begin, I would like to mention that this video is not intended in any way to discourage the viewers from watching the movie. The video is meant to be entertaining and educational. We hope you enjoy the mistakes we found. Our first mistake is when we see the Midtown School of Science and Technology, the school where Peter Parker goes. Notice that in the background we can see the MedLife building next to the Chrysler building. But why is this a mistake you might ask? Well because the MedLife building doesn't exist in the MCU, the MedLife building is supposed to be the Avengers Tower in the movie. Either they didn't have time to finish the CGI because the trailer leaked, or what I think is most likely, they are intentionally trying to hide the new building. Remember in Far From Home, they teased a new building is coming. If they fix this mistake, the overshot scene of the school might be our first glimpse of the new building. So pay close attention to this scene when you go see the movie. Our second mistake is when Peter arrives at the New York Sanctum. Notice the main window of the Sanctum is mirrored from how it was before. This mistake also appeared in the Spider-Man game, maybe this is just the way the Sanctum is made by Sony. Mistake number 3. Notice that at the end of the movie Far From Home, the costume has two lines on its waist. Here is a better shot of them. And how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? But in the new movie, which starts exactly where we were left in Far From Home, those stripes have now disappeared. Here is a better look. Remember the necklace Peter gave to MJ at the end of Far From Home? No. When Peter's identity is revealed, we can see that MJ is wearing the necklace. But at the end of Far From Home, MJ was not wearing the necklace. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. This is never, never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. Here is a better look. In an interview, Alfred Molina stated that Dr. Octopus' story will pick up directly after he drowns himself, in the East River, at the end of Sam Raimi's sophomore Spider-Man film. But notice when he drowns, the sunglasses he was wearing, they are not the same glasses he is wearing in No Way Home. Here is a better photo of those sunglasses. And here is a better comparison between the sunglasses. They are not the same. The sunglasses that Doc Octavius is wearing in No Way Home, are the ones that he wore Ed early in the movie, and got destroyed by Aunt May. So either Melina lied, or was lied to about the story, so as not to reveal too much. Doc Octavius could be teleported from an earlier moment in Spider-Man 2, or this is just another continuity error. Notice the broken water traffic barricades which splash the road with water. But in the next scene the road is now completely dry. How did all that water evaporate so fast? Since we're here, I have to ask. Have you ever seen a rainbow like this one? No? Well that's because the colors of the rainbow are arranged incorrectly. The green color should be in the middle, and red and blue at the edges. Notice when the taxi driver runs for his life, he doesn't have time to close the door from his cab. But in the next scene, we now see that the door is now closed. Here is a better look of the mistake. What do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. When Peter enters the sanctum, notice that in front of the door is a portion of melted snow. I owe the pleasure. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. But in the next shot, the snow is no longer melted in that place. Here is a better look of the continuity error. While from the above shots, Peter is shown resting with his head on its back and closed eyes, but on the close-up shots, you can see Peter is listening carefully at MJ. Suggests that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop, come on. <laughs> yes, my spider lord. Also the book under Peter, constantly changes its position between shots. And the position of MJ's head, on the backpack, also changes between shots. 
suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop, come on. <laughs> yes, my spider lord. <laughs> Can we just like stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. When Peter arrives at school, everyone is looking at him except for these two. They are looking straight at the camera. Also, everyone at school appears to be filming Peter, but they are actually all in picture mode. None of them press to take the picture. This guy even accidentally takes a picture. You can clearly see from the shirt wrinkles, the point on which Tom Holland is pulled back. The redhead in the crowd is very far from Spider-Man. But in the next shot she is now next to him. Here is the mistake again. So these are all the mistakes I found in Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Remember these are only the trailer mistakes, when the movie is finished, they will probably fix some of the mistakes. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it will help me a lot. See you in the next video.